It's Microsoft's biggest event. Now in its seventh year, Microsoft Build is an annual conference designed for developers. And earlier this week, over 5,000 of them descended over Seattle to dream up the future of PCs, tablets, phones, gaming consoles, and AI innovation, like Cortana. Here are 10 Japanese restaurants in Seattle. Microsoft's Siri-like digital assistant announced at Build three years ago. AI is everywhere. At this year's main event, CEO Satya Nadella took to the stage to share his vision to make AI available to everyone, powered by the cloud. Furthering that commitment to bringing AI to everyone is this Microsoft Research's New England Lab is at the forefront of machine learning research being conducted into healthcare, social media, economics and more. I travelled over 3,000 miles from San Francisco to Cambridge to visit the lab and sat down with Jennifer Chase, Managing Director of Microsoft Research New England. What we are doing is we have deep collaborations between people in AI and in, for example, economics and biomedical. This New England lab is part of a Microsoft research community of more than a thousand scientists and engineers across 11 different research labs. When I wrote up the pitch for Bill and Steve 10 years ago, it was precisely the expertise that was here. You attempt sort of to use either things like concentration inequalities. This lab was aimed at bringing together computer science with the social sciences and the biomedical sciences. There are 50 universities within, you know, about a mile of us. And it was the ability to work closely with these universities. I don't think there's a researcher in our lab who hasn't had deep and impactful collaborations with the local expertise. It's also not going to be as good as the dystopians think. For more on the exciting projects happening here, I walked around with Matt Taddy, principal researcher of the lab. What we're trying to do is take a bunch of the things that economists do in their day to day, pricing, forecasting, competition analysis, things like that, and we want to automate those things and supercharge them with big data. You really need AI and machine learning to make the best use of their data and to increase the number of users and have those users be more satisfied. So depending on what you do, you could name almost any field for me and I could tell you how AI is going to really help that field to serve its customers better.